This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. And Chris Stewart joining us here on Halftime. He is on call on the Crimson Tide Radio Network uh, for football right now while Eli Gold is on the mend. Chris is the voice of Alabama men's basketball and baseball. We've had him on the show before, and we appreciate his time here. Chris, thanks for coming on today. How are you? I'm chilling great. Thanks so much for having me. You got it, man. You got it. So, um... It's been like calling these Alabama games for the first month of the season. Uh, three blowouts and yeah. one game that a lot of people think they should have lost, but Bryce Young had some other thoughts on the, on that last drive. What's, what's this been like for you? Because I'm not sure if you expected that you'd be on the call uh, until maybe that week before the season. Yeah, bittersweet, I think, would be probably a, the best way to, to uh, describe it. First of all, Eli's a friend and uh, three years ago at this time, I was in a similar boat, uh, different ailments, but I was coming off of bypass surgery where I got an infection and had to miss the entire football season in the first two months of basketball. And, and it's no fun. Uh, the health situation being the primary issue, but when you, you know, you enjoy your, our jobs as much as we do and you have to be away from it. Uh, I know, I know that's not a, any fun at all. So, uh, you know, I feel for him. I hate that he's not able to do the games, but I'm extremely grateful that I would be the person that would be asked to fill in just as he and Roger Hoover and Jim Dunaway all did for me when I had to miss assignments three years ago. Uh, but also as someone who grew up an Alabama fan and has listened to the games and has known each of the play-by-play announcers during my lifetime, and there have only been three of them uh, prior to now, John Forney, um, Paul Kennedy, and, and of course Eli, to, to have an opportunity to do that myself is is very special. And, uh, and I am enjoying the assignment. I just hope that he's able to be back and, and take that back on very soon. Yeah, we, we've had Eli on the show too, and – He's uh, he's generous with his time. He's he's fun to talk with, and uh, hope hope he uh, you know comes back with a full recovery and gets back on the air. Uh, with that said, you know you, you're on the call for Saturday, uh, Arkansas and Alabama, and I mean statistically, recent these last couple of games, and you, you just don't know about you know the opponents they faced in ULM and Vanderbilt, but still a high powered offense, even with the talk of the lack of. Uh, of production at wide receiver, it hasn't kept them from putting up 55 points in three out of four games. I know penalties were an issue against Texas, but what else did Texas do in that second week that might have slowed Alabama down? I I think it's among the things that we're going to see from Arkansas. Very tough, very physical. Not that Alabama can't uh, at times match that, but I think the the physicality of Texas was an issue, and Alabama... uh, I'm not going to say couldn't get out of their own way, but they were as much of a problem as Texas was with the inability to to minimize their penalties and mistakes. Um, if if they can't do that against Arkansas, I think you'll have every bit and likely a more difficult time of of getting out of Fayetteville with a win as as was the case in Austin. That was a it was a tough game. I think Arkansas is really good, Phil. I'm not just saying that because I'm on with you know, uh, an audience full of Razorback fans. I, I really have a lot of respect for Sam Pittman and and what he does, the way he does it. Uh, I think they're better than Texas A and M, and and I think if they'd been able to get out of their own way in that one, they win that game um, easily against the Ags. But um, I fully expect those mistakes to be cleaned up and them to play a much better, very inspired game on Saturday. Last year, Arkansas got to Bryce Young four times in the backfield. I remember a few other times he slipped out of there. He slipped out of their grasp, and that's what he's so good at yeah. doing. This is an Arkansas team that still leads the nation in sacks, and it's not just Drew Sanders, but obviously he's a huge part of it. It's coming from a mul- you know multiple angles and everything. I mean, of all the things about Bryce Young that are impressive, accuracy, uh, ability to get rid of the football quickly. Um, this, you know, spread the ball out. His ability to get away from the pass rush really stands out. 
Hogs have to get to him yeah. on Saturday, and he's tough to get to. Yeah, he is. And, you know, he's not a run-first guy. He's almost a run as a last resort. But when he does, you're right. He's very, very good at that. And I think his ability to buy himself some time, obviously the, the line and, and the running backs that are kept in for protection um, have a responsibility. But I think his ability to buy his own time as well will go a long way towards Alabama's success or failure against the Hogs because um, Arkansas seems to be seems to have been susceptible to uh, to the pass game of the opposition if they're not able to get to the quarterback. It's a race. If they get there, Arkansas wins. If they don't, uh, then they lose. And I'm talking about those in, those individual matchups play by play. So we'll see how that goes. But Alabama certainly has their hands full in, in making sure he has time to do what he does so very well. Mm-hmm. Now, Chris, uh, I've seen this debate on, on, on Twitter. I'm sure it's, it's all over Alabama. And with Bryce Young and his ability, not only this year but last year, of winning the Heisman, you start to look at rankings and kind of where he belongs among quarterbacks of the Nick Saban era. Where would you right now, even though there are tons of Nick Saban quarterbacks that have national championships, Bryce Young doesn't have that yet. He does have the Heisman, though. Where would you rank him yeah. as far as Nick Saban quarterbacks so far? Uh, to me, yeah, I don't know exactly where I put him, but I'll put him as good. I'll say simply as good as any other because while it's true he doesn't have a Heisman, Alabama's or excuse me he doesn't have a national title. Uh, I don't think Alabama's anywhere close to playing for a championship last year without him being as good as he was. So I don't, I don't consider his lack of a national championship ring to be uh, an issue. He had at least one arm tied behind his back, if you will, with without having his two best receivers available in the second half of that championship game. It was really good when he had at least one. I mean, he beat them. Uh, he beat Georgia in, in uh, Atlanta in the SEC championship game when both were available for half of a game. And he had one for the second half. Uh, he was really good against them again when he had one of those guys still available for the first half of the national championship game. So, um, look, he's he's a great talent. I, I think he, there's a bunch of really good ones that have been there uh, during this phenomenal historic stretch of Nick Saban. Uh, I I. I would be hard pressed to find one that's any better than mm-hmm. him, uh, but he's he's really really special. Chris, Chris I, I would Clay imagine. Henry. Oh, go ahead, Clay. Go ahead. Go. Uh, I'll have to preface this by saying that I am Butch Henry's brother. Oh my so, goodness! <laughs> hey, I, I, I just have to warn you. I, no, I could. T- first of all, I could tell in your voice, even if uh, even if. I didn't see that uh, that that you were going to be a part of the show, and I'm sorry I didn't speak earlier. But, but Butch was uh, extremely instrumental in my career, and was my boss when I got the basketball job at at CTSN. Hard to believe 20 years ago now, and uh, I hope he hope he's doing well. Please tell him hello. He is. Me. Talked to him this morning. He he gave me all kinds of things to ask you, but we don't have time to get into all that stuff. But I, I I just want to tell you that you should you should have known things were going to work for you. He also hired Paul Eels. Yeah. When he was senior associate yeah. AD at Arkansas, he brought in Paul Eels tape to Coach Brawls and Coach Brawls says hiring, hiring. And uh, well, he told me that when he heard your tape, he knew pretty much that you were going to be a success at Alabama. I I'm flattered uh, that you say that and that, that he would feel that way. And any time my, my name can be mentioned in any manner with Paul's, uh, it's beyond flattering. He was absolutely one of my favorite people in this business. When I was a college broadcaster at the University of Montevallo, we played the Razorbacks in a exhibition game 
in Little Rock. Uh, it was during the time that Nolan really had things rolling. They because had not had yet Spivery. come into the SEC. Yes, Rob Spivery, a dear friend still to this day, and and Rob had been on Nolan's staff at Tulsa. Uh, that's, that's that's what allowed that exhibition game to take place. And um, Paul was kind enough to do an interview with me uh, for our little broadcast that we did back to Montevallo and, and treated me with a kindness and respect as if I were a 20-year veteran, not a 20-year-old, and, and just always loved him dearly and thought the world of him. Uh, so I'm I'm very very flattered that you would say that. Well, it's he it's uh, it's fun to uh, to run across the good ones, and you're, you 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 fit in that category. And Alabama is, uh, of course, everybody you know has heard your work in basketball and baseball. You know, um, let's just say this: Paul was a pro. You're a pro. Well. You're very, very nice to say that. And, uh, I, you know, tell you what, the, all the guys that have, uh, been with the Razorbacks mean a lot to me. Mike Nail, still a dear friend and, and try to, and I'm, I'm glad that we've had this conversation. I need to reach out to him and, and try to catch up since I'm coming there. I don't know if Tom's going to allow it or not, but just he's doing good. He's doing I always good love, place. I always love coming there. I hate it. I'm not going to have time to go to Herman's. That is, uh, it's almost sacrilege to come to Fayetteville, in my opinion, and not not get at least one meal there. But but there's a the people, the food, and uh, the whole experience are usually really special when we come there. It was going to be a great game, uh, expectedly. I know it's a 15 point spread. I'd, I'd be kind of surprised if if it finishes outside so of 15 I. points either way. Yeah, so uh, would yeah, I. yeah, absolutely. You've paid attention to everything that's going on here. Chris, we'll leave it there, man. I appreciate you hopping on with us. Safe travels to Fayetteville. Thanks uh, for having me. You You got it. Appreciate it, Chris. I look forward to it. Thank you, guys. Chris Stewart on the call for the Alabama Crimson Tide Radio Network. uh, For, well, who knows how long he'll be doing it for the football season. We hope Eli gets back in the booth, but Chris does a uh, tremendous job, whatever it is that he's covering. You want to react? 877-377-6963. And you might want to also get yourself a nice cold lark very soon with lunch. A full-spectrum seltzer brought to you by Washita Farms. There's no booze in lark, but you can get a buzz because they got the perfect balance of hemp-derived THC and CBD. The flavors are strawberry guava, mango, grapefruit, berry, and free of all sugar, carbs, calories, and alcohol. Lark's available at larkhemp.com. They'll ship it right to your home. Or you can find it at your local adult beverage store. Got to be 21 years of age. Stay with us on Halftime. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports, contests, and events with first-to-market odds and lines. Find reviews and news for every league, including Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, NHL, combat sports, esports, and even golf. Bet Online continues to be the top online resource for all your sports information, from live in-game betting, props, and futures. Head to Bet Online today or use your mobile device to join today and make Make your first sports bet. Use our promo code Believe50 to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. That's Believe B L E A V 50. That's Believe B L E A V 50. Bet online where the game starts.